Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. I recently spent some time in Gothenburg in Sweden. At the Volvo Crash Test Facility, which is a truly extraordinary place. They've been trying to find out what happens to the batteries in an electric car in a high-speed impact. The same system that sets off the airbags isolates the power in a hundredth of a second. But they also have a safety system under the hood. With no danger, a member of the rescue services can pull a cord here which manually isolates the battery. So what I want to just quickly say is that what has been intriguing about this experience of meeting all the lovely Volvo people and driving this car is the thing that I did know about Volvo, even though I've not driven one before, is that they have a legendary a history of safety. Out of all the questions I get asked about electric cars, the one I never get asked uh, is about safety. What happens if you're in an electric car and you're in a collision? No one has ever asked me that. Uh, because we're kind of used to cars being safer than they used to be, or most cars are now. But no one's ever said, well, what happens when you're in a crash and what happens to the batteries and are you going to explode or get electrocuted? And I never thought about it either, but Volvo clearly have, and they've been smashing cars up that are full of fully charged batteries to see what happens. And thankfully, they've done it extremely well and it's extremely safe, but there are issues, particularly for people like the emergency services who need, might need to cut you out of a car. There's a 400 volt system running this car now, and if a fireman comes up to walk up to this car and it's 400 volts going through the bodywork, he might get a bit moody. So therefore, they, they built this car with safety absolutely at the forefront of what they've done, and I think it's amazing. And this is a, these are essentially trial test cars, and they're making 250 or 300 of them to put out in the real world to collect the data. It's what a lot of motor manufacturers are doing to find out how they operate, and so far in this one, they operate very well. All I can say is I wish Volvo would make the leap like Nissan have done with the Leaf and start producing the electric C30 immediately. But they are Swedish and sensible and mature and careful and taking one step at a time and testing and making sure the car is safe and reliable. I know that's important, but it's such a cool car. The C30 is a really nice car. The build quality is exceptional, and as is often the case, it actually drives and handles better than one powered by an old-fashioned engine. And that isn't just me saying that. I'm quoting proper motoring journalists who've driven everything. Even the old school ones were impressed with this car. As is always the case, when I get to drive a new electric car, I want one. I want that one.